they kicked you out they, they set up against you this was a set up against you and they felt they won little did they know god had a better plan shalom the lord bless you welcome to papa san marita bliss with pastor honoring i have a prophetic word for someone they kicked you out. It was a setup. They thought they had triumph over you. Little did they know. They never saw this coming. And this word is coming to us from Genesis chapter 45 from verse 7 to verse 11. It says, and God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity. This is Joseph speaking in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God. This is Joseph revealing himself to his brothers in Egypt. And he says, God sent me before, be, be, before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth. God sent me before you. Now they thought, the brothers thought they hated Joseph and so they sold him off to slavery. So they thought they had kicked him out of the family. They thought they had successfully gotten rid of Joseph. They thought they had successfully destroyed his dreams that he was sharing and he was getting them so jealous. Little did they know this was a live session by the internet interrupted Saul. I decided I felt it so strongly like maybe I should shoot a video so that it can even reach more people. Little did they know they were walking in line with the plan of God. God had given Joseph a dream. Little did they know that they were walking to help God bring that dream to come to pass. Their kicking Joseph out was in the will of God for Joseph's life. They did not know that, and Joseph did not know that either. But little did they know, little did they know that they were in the will of God. And when Joseph gets to the house of Potiphar, Potiphar's wife frames him up and throws him, and they throw him in prison. Little did they know Joseph was on the highway to the palace. Your enemies thought they were succeeding over you. They set you up for nothing. They, they, they framed you up for nothing. They tried to kick you out of that job. They tried to kick you out of that marriage. They tried to kick you out, to kick you out of that place. Little did they know that job was becoming a comfort zone, and God wanted you to own your own company. Little did they know that they were just being used by God. Joseph said, God sent me. He says, so hear what verse 8 says. He says, so now it was not you that sent me hither, but God. It wasn't you that kicked me out, but God. It wasn't you that tried to destroy my finances, but God. Someone, Come on, someone, you've got to thank God for the bad days. The days you thought you were going to die, but you did not die because God had you covered. God had everything under control. The problem is that the enemy didn't know they were working for God. And they attacked your finances. Had it been your finances were not under attack, you would never have understood what it means to serve God. You would never have understood what it means to seek the face of God. They attacked your marriage. And due to that, you learned how to pray. You learned how to trust God. You learned how to put God first in your relationship. They attacked your health. And because of that, you learned how to believe God. You learned how to walk with God. You learned how to trust in God. The devil thought he, was, he had gotten you in a bad place little did he know that God had him in a bad place and God had you covered God had everything happening to you under control and, it's the, and Joseph tells them he says haste ye and go up to my father and say unto him thus says thy son Joseph God has made me lord of all Egypt no Okay, the, the other part of verse 8, sorry. It says, and he had made me a father to Pharaoh and lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all of the land of Egypt. When God wants to uplift you, it's different from when man uplifts you. When God uplifts you, it's different from what you can accomplish by your own strength. Joseph said, God has made me a father over Pharaoh. Who is Pharaoh? Pharaoh is the king of Egypt. Pharaoh is the one that everyone honors and adore and, and worships. But God has made Joseph a father to Pharaoh. That's what God will do when he wants to uplift 
assist you. That you become the one making decisions for the for the decision makers. You become the one, the overall person in charge. That's what happens when God wants to uplift you. And God says they thought they had you destroyed. They kicked you out. Little did they know you were about to become their boss. Little did they know they were angry and irritated just because they heard the dreams of Jesus or of Joseph. Sorry. Little did they know that they will one day come and bow before him. Little did they know that they were going to bow before him and look up to him for just something as little as food. They had no idea what God had in store for them. But now what? If we go to verse 10, I love what verse 10 says. Verse 10 says, And thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me. Thou and thy children, and thy children's children, and thy flocks, and thy hates, and all that thou hast. And there will I nourish thee. For yet there, for yet there are five years of famine. God says, before there was a famine, I prepared a place for you called Goshen. So God did not just have you covered. God had you. God did not just send Joseph to Egypt. God prepared a land in Egypt for his own. God did not just send Joseph ahead to prepare to, pre, to, to preserve their posterity. God had a land prepared. There was already a Goshen prepared. God says, I should tell someone that yes, you lost your job, but there is already another job, a better job waiting for you. There is a Goshen already waiting for you where God will nourish you and give you abundance. Yes, you lost a relationship, but God already has a kingdom spouse waiting for you who will treat you like a king or like a queen. Yes, you lost your health. God already has restoration waiting for you. Whatever before you even got to lose it. And God understood that the famine is still going to last for five more years. And this is what the, the, the people did not understand. They literally did they know that it was going, the famine was going to last that long. But God had made provision for them. God had them covered. God had made provision for them for even for the next five years. Even for the next five years, God has everything on under control. I don't know who is in a bad place right now. And you're telling yourself this was not the plan. How did I get to this point? You're asking yourself, how did I get here? How did I find myself here? God says I should tell you he has everything under control. God says I should tell you he has everything covered. He has you all covered. There is already a Goshen for you. There is already a Joseph for you. There is already a Joseph in a high position that is just waiting to put you in the right place. There is already a land flowing with milk and honey there is already a land filled with abundance waiting for you there is a Goshen already waiting for you and you're saying yes it's going to last it's, I still have five more years to go through this the famine is going to last five more years God says I have you covered and you're saying Oh, my heart is so broken. I don't know if I can ever get married again. God says I have you covered. It doesn't matter what the enemy did. God has you covered. Yes, they kicked you out. They tried to destroy you. They tried to kill you. But God has you covered. Hallelujah. Did we receive the word of God with gladness? If you did, just thank God for the word. And if you have a seat or so, if you feel led, you can just hit on that super thanks. Or you might check the description box for Cash App or PayPal. You, you're going to see it there. And drop your offering, drop your seat. And if you have not subscribed to Purpose and Marita Bliss, please do subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell. Hallelujah. God bless you. Bye-bye. Shalom.